Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing guys. Uh, yo, what's up? Welcome to Venkabot. Uh, pizza in a movie action. My name is Dave. Guys, it's Death December. Merry Christmas of Death, guys. As always, shout out to the Made the Mortality Christmas Death Caribou, our patron saint of December. We're watching uh, The Phantom Creeps tonight. This is a 12 episode serial from 1939 starring Bela Lugosi. I'm pumped. Uh, the footage we uh, have here is uh, not restored in any way. It's uh, preserved okay for 39. It's not uh, especially beautiful, but it's going to get the job done, I feel like, for conveying this amazing tale of a mad scientist uh, played by Bill Lugosi as I guess he evades the FBI who are trying to stop him. They're trying to stop him from doing his mad science. And I guess he's got an invisibility belt and a giant robot to help him out in terms of escaping the police. It's going to be ridiculous, guys. If it's anywhere near as good as Dick Tracy was. So basically, um, here on Pizza the Movie, we usually watch feature films. Uh, we've been doing this now for a couple years, I suppose. We've got probably more than 60 films under our belt by now. It sounds crazy, but it's true. And uh, recently, we've actually watched our first film serial, me and Katie Alpha. It was uh, Dick Tracy from 1930-something. And that was a lot of fun. It was a lot, very ridiculous, very silly, very goofy, and very enjoyable. And this one sounds at least equally so. Uh, again, this is called The Phantom Creeps. It was made into a feature film. Uh, basically, what happened was, after the serial finished, uh, they chopped it up into a film. And they cut out more than two-thirds of it to make this film. So if it's anything like Dick Tracy, guys, probably a lot of filler. These serials are kind of known for that, but it's going to be a lot of fun, I think, anyway. I have my pizza here, guys, as always. I've got my, uh, my cottage in cheese bread. I'll let you guys see this real quick before I go black and white. Delicious cheese bread. Oh, my God. It's going to go down smooth. But even more importantly, guys, the signature pizza of Pizza the Movie, the Cuban... Cottage Inn. Looks amazing tonight. Pulled pork. Fried pickles. Gold barbecue sauce. That is going to go down mighty, mighty smooth. All right, guys. So let's uh, do a few things here first. Let me uh, go black and white, guys. As always, I like to go back, uh, black and white when I watch the stream. If you guys want to, you guys can go black and white, too. I'm not going to require that. But I find that it makes me uh, enjoy the films more when I'm black and white. So let me... Uh... I'm sorry. I need to be here. Mm-hmm. And do this. Um, bop. There we go. Okay. So let's see here. So I guess we can start the, the films now, guys. Yeah, I'm so pumped. Yeah, so that is the Cuban from Cottage Inn. Yeah, exactly. They have 20 minutes each or so. Good vibe. It's going to take about eh, like four or five hours to finish it. My goal tonight, guys, is to watch all these in one sitting. And uh, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to pull that off or not. Because it's going to be about, again, four to five hours. Usually, we, it's not unusual for us to stream that long for, like, a triple feature here. But we might find ourselves getting a little bit uh, exhausted of uh, of the Phantom Creeps. If that's the case, we might find another film to watch. Because the pickles look a little, little green screens. <laughs> yeah, they were getting all, they were getting all, uh, all transparent on us. All right, guys, this is good stuff. I'm going to mention the volume as always, guys. I'm going to make sure that the volume is correct as we get this uh, thing going on. What's up, Karina? Just in time. The Phantom Creeps. <laughs> Again, guys, not, it's not preserved the best, but it's going to get the job done. I hope you guys can uh, enjoy it for what it is, for its grainy quality. Is that a spider? Oh, man. This is going to be godlike, guys. <laughs> I'm so focused. 1939. Oh, this is going to be godlike. Let me get into this fucking pizza real quick. Hope you guys have some good dinner, too. What more can we do? Bella Lucy, Dr. Alex Zorka. Bob, let's get chased by the FBI, I guess. I can control it or destroy it as I can you. You whom I helped escape from prison. Oh my god. I control it quickly. Don't like it is, dude. Can't mention words. 
I can destroy this robot if I can destroy it. Oh! Mm, the pimpling! Look at this dude! What if I can cook this dude? Look at this fucking uh, chrome dome, bro. It the cops will never let anything like that. Like the walk Green down down the Goblin street. Sam Raimi version. What could the police or so anybody Raimi. do against an army like them? Because <laughs> Angie's friend. Position. Maybe the most powerful that. man in the world. Hey, watch it! God damn it! <laughs> this fucking wireless? That's sick! There's a car outside. That will be my wife. She wants to take me away. She's afraid of what I'm doing here, yet she knows only a small part of it. This guy's wifed up? Man, I can't even get a fucking girlfriend. Let me go in and talk to him alone, <laughs> Dr. Mallory. He's been angry with you ever since you refused to continue to work with him. I did so Look, only because he was working on the land you. contrary to the good of mankind. I know. He still is. I'll be knowing right now he'll be the guy. Stop him before Mad scientist many. and he has a giant I hate robot. To have you face him <laughs> That's alone. All we know. I don't fear him. I think he really cares for me. As much as he can care for anyone. Except himself. Bella goes You're in. not going to tell her about the new element you discovered, are you? Only enough to prove that I have accomplished what they told me was impossible. Get me one of the magnetized discs. But if you're determined to face him alone, I'll wait in there. He's got a new element, huh? But won't your wife think that I'm Shut the fuck up, bro. Put your ass back in prison. All we know for sure he'd be a disguised assistant. He sprung from prison to help him with his fucking dirty work. His oh, evil mad scientist shit. And my dear. You. You're glad to see me. Very. I've been wanting a witness to my great crime. Oh. Yes. I told Mallory and the others there was a way to induce a state of suspended animation that couldn't be told from death, that I could find it. They called me a dreamer, a fool, but now I have it! And you shall see and tell them. Come. <laughs> He's such a good actor, dude. You see this disc? Watch. There you go. Watch your ass. Look back, please, Steve. He's like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Why did I marry this dude? It will not come to you. It will go only to that disc which I have put there by the plan. He's controlling that spiders disc there now? Is magnetized by a positive ray with my new element, which is unknown to science. And this little spider carries the negative. When the two meet, you shall see. Is it gonna blow up? Please blow up. Oh my god. Element X, Peter Steve. You found a new element. <laughs> Yo, gosh! No, no, it's not there. Nor would a person be on the same circumstance. Wait, you didn't kill it? It's too bad that Mallory is not here to see my trial. So he said I that he put in suspended here. animation, right? You! You were spying! Call it that if you wish, Alex. But you made no secret of it. Now my fear is, what are you going to do with it? I shall do with it as I wish. Not hand it over to the government, as you would have me. I still think that would be best. It should be under control for the good of mankind. No, you no, would still that. receive credit for its discovery. They would destroy it if they could. But possibly... Never will I let it go. Already a foreign government had offered me millions. Is that Bofus? Perhaps. Give a spike, dude. I shall share it to them. Don't you realize what a terrific weapon it would be in the hands of unscrupulous people? Of course. That is why they shall pay me dearly for it. Alex, you must not. Then it is my duty to inform the government at once. 
Alex, Take him out. Please. Suspend this dude. Suspend this dude. Guys, can I click this? Suspend this dude in the chat, please. All right. Suspend this your dude. Duty. Do so by all means. But you will find it a great mistake. Um, what do you mean? <laughs> you shall soon learn. All of you. So, this is from 1939, guys. I am. The uh, audio is quite muffled, as you guys probably have noticed by now. Monk. If you guys missed it, he mentioned uh, briefly that that element doesn't kill people, it puts them into suspended animation. Did you carry out my instructions? Zoom guys, you can revive them. Like this? Yes, sir. So I she asked, oh, the there's a plant dead. No, the plant's not dead. Not Nor would a person be. The plant's just suspended. They think they know everything that I have, but they know nothing of this divisualizer that will conceal me from my enemies. I'll stay here tonight. Perhaps I can see him again. A Cuban Hubie is too godlike, as always. I'm waiting from his mad course. And I'll get in touch with the government. I've already talked with Captain West of the War Department about Alex. Don't let him leave they Alex. They won't punish him, will they? No, Anne. They'll just keep him and what he has found under control so that he can't misuse it. I don't typically mind if it's a country that would. Concealment is not man. concealed. Good night. Whoa! How did they do that? It is in thirty nine. But for a shadow. But can you come back? Surely. I must come back. What's up, we're talking about before, dude? And now, as the Phantom, there is nothing that I cannot do. Oh, this guy's too godlike, dude. It's a mad science for you, see? He's got all the cool shit. He's got that blue dude that's coming up. Oh. Dexter's laboratory, bro. He might be critiqued, he might. Nobody can gigantic. find our secret workshop without the Iron Man helping. Oh, well, the Iron Man is the reason why they go inside the secret workshop. The cave. He's using his trunk to open the door. I see it so cleverly. Nobody will ever find it. Must be entirely moved by morning. Pack what we need. Yes. Sci-fi cereal. Uh oh, this guy's a fucker. He's trying to sneak a smoke. You guys are just joining us here? This is the first episode of the film cereal. Oh, this guy has a remote control on his wrist for controlling the robot. The robot's totally under his command. Like a Bluetooth controller, basically. Spiders, Element X, suspending people. We got chemicals now. He really is attacking. Really is. They must never know about you. The source of all my power. What? He's an evil source to his power too. Like a demon or something? It's just fucking ridiculous. That might be Kareem. Maybe he's these papers. Is this his wife or is this his mate or something? I guess I don't recognize this. This is his wife. I don't recognize her in that outfit. 
I ain't supposed to hear you. Mallory speaking. Yes, Ann. The place seems to be deserted. I'll come right out there as soon as I get a call I'm waiting for. Why does this guy play fucking this fucking government? Yes, here? Captain West of the Army Intelligence. I'll start as soon as he phones me. Yeah, poor man. All right. Don't worry. Much depends on what happens in this house today. Is that Both fucking fire? <laughs> and listen to this. Look at this cool fucking, it's like a fucking swirly magic on the left with the hooks on it. What the fuck? I'm here for it. Yeah. The light bulb was there. Uh, that probably Mallory. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad you got here. Captain West arrived yet? No. Why did this dude? Flying down, so I was trying to find it here. That must be Bob West. It's a government plane. They are closing in. Where's he going to land the plane in the back there? Uh, Maybe they will find nothing. I have to change my appearance. Maybe you better stay here and keep an eye on the plane. Can change his appearance? Okay. I appreciate it's fucking indistinguishable from reality. Indistinguishable from reality. Excuse me, indistinguishable Captain from reality. Captain West, is it true that Dr. Zorkin has disappeared? Well, do you think it's fair for you to know my name and I don't know yours? Uh, I'm Jean Drew. Well, what are you doing here? The time sent me. Too low, it's going to last them a nice question. Sorry, but I'm not allowed to answer yeah, any questions. I got special effects for 39. Do you mind if I go to the house with it's you? Sci-fi. Yes, I'd mind very much. Fuck off, you lady. You and I better take a little walk, sister. I don't believe I've met you. Miss Drew, allow me to present Mr. Jim Daly. You'll find him very good company. Uh. From what you say, Dr. Zarka has discovered something very important. I'm sure he has. Highly dangerous, too. Think what a hostile power could do with it. This movie Have isn't wasting uh, any fucking time. Made any search for it? No, we thought we'd better wait till you got here. Well, let's look in his laboratory. Here's the plant. It's all. You gonna take suspended. that disc? I'll, uh, I'll get it later. I'd hate to have one of those spiders find it in my pocket. He's pretty smart. Fools! Fools! Let them search. They will find nothing. They can't get inside. They've got the robot. Simple and clean, yeah, right to the point. I love that it's just like, it's very convenient that his wife is like friends with this fucking government asshole. There's been some parts that have been well, dumped, but not been all. Moved. You can talk to Rankin of Aspiring, I will be with you, but unseen. Oh. Husband smokes a popular brand. But he doesn't. He can't stand tobacco. So he's going to oh, change appearance. I thought he was using a magical device. He's right. So far as I know, he's already worked alone. Here we go. That's the bell goes we know and love. The visualizer. Then we will go. That belt makes him invisible, guys. You, guys you must be more careful than ever that no one discovers the entrance of our secret garage. Let's go. Let's go. We dip in. Sick. <laughs> Fucking sick. What a set. Well, so our phone headquarters and have a description broadcast. He'll be picked up somewhere. That is, if he still answers his own description. It's secret, Karina. It's secret. That's why it's be small. Yes. Then we will go to meet the agent of Aspiring. When last seen, he wore striped trousers, dark foreign hand tie, and cutaway coat. No car that we know of. But it would take one to carry the things. Oh, she's gonna be a love laboratory. interest. That'd be sick. What's up, Oyaki? Welcome yeah, board. Right. Put this on the cell site right away, will you? Thank for support, Oyaki. As always. Look at the shades. Pick up that man. What do you mean? Give him a ride? Yes. He looks as I used to. He might be useful to me. Oh my God. I hear kidnapping hobos to use in parts oh, of evil experiments. This is the very first episode of the serial. We got car chases and shit. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. This is the first fucking episode. Man is dead. Well, rest in peace. I can F in the chat for that guy, please. <laughs>
simplifies everything. Merry Christmas, guys. Of we death. will make it seem that it is the famous Dr. Zorko who has been killed. Oh, do I make it like we'll a get another car. Thank you, Billy. Go right. home. Thank you, Oya. Oh, yeah, and peace, see guys. what they are doing there. So yeah, make it like it was him that died. It's faking his own death. <laughs> Right, I've got it. We'll fly right down there. Are we even 10 minutes in yet? In a car found wrecked and burned on Highway 10, 50 miles north of here. There's a body in it. The contents of the pockets indicated to Dr. Zorka. Identification what? is important. What? I was invisible. Can you go with it? You are asking too much, Captain West, after such a shock. I'll go. I must This know. crazy bastard went invisible and put one of his discs inside that guy's bag. Well, plane with it, Jim. Whenever you're ready, Mrs. Zorka. Oh, that means. To get suspended, dude. He was a bad boy. Get that suspension. Meanwhile, she's straight creeping. She's the Phantom Creeps. Fucking fake news ass media. Mm. My bitch has got it. They are taking my wife to identify the body we left at the car. She will know it is not mine. Can't you stop them by it? She has one of my discs, and she does not know it. Is this been so wife? time enough to put that spider into her play. She will go into suspended animation so that she cannot identify the dead man. Then I will take her from them and revive her. Now get the car ready. The Quick. boy suspended his own get wife. there as soon as the plane arrives. What a fucking badass. They may recall how uh, hot that material that the airplane was built off of was. No idea. <laughs> it shouldn't take long. I'll check the lab equipment and try to figure out just what's Let's missing. Some Bye. 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 Oh, Taki, this movie is... This is the first fucking 20 minutes. This shit ain't wasting any time. Whatsoever. Uh-oh. Bye. Is there something the matter with that door? I'm sure I shut it. Doesn't look to me as if you're dead. This wasn't in my bag when I left the house. That's the same kind of disc that was found under the plant. The one the spider went to. Spider? Are you certain it wasn't in your bag before? Positive. Well, let me see it, will you? I haven't seen one of those things yet. Oh, oh no, the pilot! I want to turn it back to the apartment. Are you sure you didn't find it and take it as part of a keepsake? These guys are joining us here, those discs. They draw the spider to you, and if the spider touches the disc, it explodes and puts you in a spin spin animation. Where the car was found, have you any idea where Dr. Zerker was going? Oh, no. None whatever. Oh! It's getting suspended. Yo, if I get an F for that guy, you'll rest in fucking peace. What are you doing here? Never mind, bail out! <laughs> 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 Bye, bitch! Get into the shoot. Yes, sir. I like how the plane's spiraling down and they just walk around inside like it's nothing. Bye!
it down a smidge. Dr. Zorka, scientists have discovered the secrets of a spin animation and invisibility plans to rule the world. That's our hero, guys. Dr. Mallory, former associate, suspects Zorka of treason. Bob West and Jim Daly, military intelligence officers, attempt to question Zorka, but he eludes them and supposes is supposedly killed in an auto crash. Gene Drew, newspaper reporter, stows away in the airplane in which Bob and Jim are taking Mrs. Zorka to identify her husband's body. That's all in one episode. The invisible Zorka to prevent something something. This wasn't in my bag when I left the house. Oh. Wow. That's the same kind of disc that was found under the plant. The one with spider wings. Spider! Uh, let me see it, Willie. I haven't seen one of those things yet. Hold on, will you, Jim? I want to send it back to the department. The spider! Are you sure you didn't find it and take it as sort of a keepsake? Why, of course I didn't. So where the car was found, have you any idea where Dr. Zerka was going? None whatever. Jim, what happened? Look at you, Bob, exactly. Let's fucking get a blocker. If you're 20 seconds, again, if you guys missed the intro, basically the spiders they use, they can only they go toward the discs he plants on people. Once they touch the disc, they detonate, the spiders explode, and then that person goes into suspended animation. They basically die, but they can be revived later on. Day, back in the 30s, you could survive a plane crash like that. This is Zarka. Yeah, right? It's a reporter. They're all fine with the face of that. This is what I mean. They're not actually dead. I hope there's a love triangle with a reporter. That's my hope. He's a doctor, but also a mad scientist. First and foremost, he's a mad scientist. Oh. Okay, but okay, she's an fine. ambulance on the way. Feeling fine. She'd know those guys. Report later. Yeah. 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 All right, get back. Avery, just trying to get back. Come on. Wait, here's my question. I guess the pilot probably still alive too that night. Because he was suspended. So maybe he could be revived. I'm a physician. Okay. Knows his wife. Oh my god. Wow, his wife died. <laughs> I can't believe it. Can I get an F, please, guys? Again, I'm sorry. I know I'm demanding a lot for you guys tonight. Captain West, my paper would like an official statement from you. Thank you, Brian. He killed his own wife in an accident. Following you to get a story. What do you make of him, Doctor? I find no bodily injuries. The man seemed to be in a coma. That's right. He collapsed suddenly at the controls. The ambulance is coming. Take this girl away. 
Come on, lady. Lock her up. Captain West, I want to know the connection between this plane crash and Dr. Zorka's death. And unless you tell me... All I'm... right, arrest her. Leave go of me. You can't arrest me without a charge. The crash was throwing away in a government plane. Come on. You can't do this to me. Well, I can't, but he can. Hooker. The plan was to put the spider on the wa on his wife goodbye and knock her out. However, I've made arrangements to have him brought here for further observation. What can I've been wondering, Doctor, Jenica. if one of Zarka's deaths could have had something to do with it. I handed daily one of them on a plane that's disappeared. But you saw no spiders and Dr. Zorka is dead. Yes, but his secrets aren't dead. He might have sold his formula to those foreign agents who were after it. That still wouldn't explain the presence of the element on the plane. With only Daly and Mrs. Zorka and yourself aboard, as it happens, there was someone else aboard. Come in, Miss Drew. I think she's an accomplice. Oh, my God. Dr. Mallory. The drip. Do, Miss Drew? The doctor and I are old friends. Did you check my credentials? Yes. Satisfied? No. We have reason to believe that something was smuggled aboard that plane. Awesome. Can I print that? No, you can't print anything except what I tell you. Is that clear? You win. Shoot. Censorship. Yeah, the plan yeah, goodbye. Basically, he faked his own death. He had to knock his wife unconscious so she could identify his body. So they, they didn't know. They, he wanted them to believe that he, he was dead at the, at the wheel of his car. He left a, another dead body there. He had to knock his wife out so she couldn't uh, identify him. Then he's going to steal her back at the point. Revive her. Wife, Send even this message in code wife. to all our allied foreign operators. As a disguise for our spying operations, all code messages henceforth will be sent from our international school of languages. So we learned in the last episode that this guy, Zorka Belagosi, is working with uh, other countries that are enemies of the U.S. to sell his evil science to them so they can destroy the world or whatever. Just a minute. Children must always say please. I will send you a letter. Follow our instructions carefully. Have a recording made of that and put it on the air at once. Yes, sir. Well, did you get Zorka's formula? G-Man placed a guard around Zorka's house. We haven't been able to enter. It. You've got to get in. Come on, I'll find Zorka's assistant monk. I'm about to broadcast a recording to our friends in Europe, informing them of Zorka's death. All right, I'll go myself with some of the men tonight. We may be able to slip past the guards. Well, see that there are no blunders. Well, this fucking film is sicko, Doc. Eh? Again, it's good special effects. <laughs> Insane plot. <All> right. <laughs> I'm about to broadcast exercise 47 with code interruptions. All right, begin. Dr. Zorka is dead. Inform his majesty at once. Damn, his majesty cares about Dr. Zorka? No, but it may not revive him. This is an antidote that I prepared in anticipation of such an event as this. Oh, this is the first opportunity I've had to test the antidote. Know the action, sir? Yes, sir. 
No, something is missing. Some essential ingredient that I've failed to hit upon. Well, how do you propose to find it? Make another search of Zorka's laboratory. Well, come on, before someone else beats us to it. They can't find a secret shit. They need the robot for that. They have the gift sub apples. Welcome aboard. Anything yet, Mac? Nah. Ain't nobody gonna hang around a spooky old dump like this. The place is guarded. I can't reach the secret entrance. What's that? Wind, I guess. Oh. Never mind the guards. If they stop you, I will be there to help. <laughs> you guys bell, guys. You know what that means. Dibba dim bum bee bum 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 bum. Dibba dee bum bee doo boo. Get body by an invisible guy. Be careful. All right, come on. Back to the house. Oh! Inside. Got him. Don't leave your silent, bitch. It's a hard knock place. Good night, apples. Apples coming by, making it rain, and fading into the shadows. I stopped the guy that was prowling around here and the something hit me from behind and he got away. Oh, something hits you from behind, huh? Better not tell Captain West that kind of a yarn. I tell you there's something queer about this uh, place. Uh, what, you don't believe him? You barely see anything in this black and white night forest, but I could tell he was going invisible and properly directed. Draw the curtains. Set the sound detector. Sound detectors? What? Nine? You must remove all the spiders and discs. Hey, Smell researches this place again. If Mallory came into possession of those discs, you might be able to derive an antidote from it. It would nullify the effect of these Just spiders. Boxing up and spiders. Bro. From this, he must be pretty good. Oh. In the scientific world, he's second only to myself. Why not put one of your spiders there? No! That's a fucking amazing. Time has not yet come. It's a dumbass dropped a fucking magnetic disc. Oh no. Who's gonna suspend it? Don't that disc obey, you idiot! What an asshole. You want one of my little pets to sting you? Wasn't close enough, okay. They're dangerous, they're talking. They look cute, but they're dangerous. They're trained to kill. Well, not really kill, just suspect. I'm all ready. Get the rope and open the door. I don't trust this idiot. Let's go, robot. Yeah, like, the bombs are like, uh, Korean said, they're kind of like, uh, the bomb tubes from Delta. She has a disc now. Took from the plant like a dumbass. There's someone in the house. Is that his laboratory? It can only be found by him? Because he needs the robot to move the fucking fireplace. The only thing strong enough to move it. And he can't control the robot because he's a little risk communicator, so. I desire a man to take care of the intruder. Don't talk about Iron Man. Did he punch a girl? Uh, Any trouble, Mac? Yes, sir. There's a master prowler, sir. We drove him off. I must not show my power until I'm ready to strike. You can't fight him yet. 
was. Fucking badass robot, yeah. Look at me, build a robot to open a secret door and then find a secret door, yeah. Well, it's good for a lot of things, good vibe. Not just opening doors. Also, All right, Captain, fools. as long as you didn't get inside, let's look the place over. I hate this dude. The secret entrance. Let's go. He was definitely fucking Dr. Sucker's wife. He has no shame about it, which pisses me off. Where's the spider? Isn't there a spider chasing her too? He's an invisible man driving a visible car. Hiding. You stay here. Hey, watch this guy get body. Dr. Zorka. At least a spider, bro. Who's that stupid disc? Huh. Is that a dollar coin? Spider, bro. Release the spider. Is that it right there? Oh, fuck. That's kind of sick special. Make it. 
Here's your Mist class. Here's your Mist. The serial stars Dr. Alex Zorka. He's a mad scientist who's uh, obsessed with power. He wants to sell his wicked secrets to a foreign government who's going to use it against the U.S. The FBI is trying to stop him. And so he's on the run using his invisibility belt, his trained spiders that can explode and cause people to get knocked out, and his giant robot, and his goofy-ass sidekick to try to get away from the government. Chapter 3. Dr. Zorka, believed to be dead, attempts to prevent the authorities from discovering his scientific secrets by using a device which makes him invisible. Bob West of the Military Intelligence Department overcomes Monk, Zorka's assistant, then pursues a fugitive, I'm sorry guys, uh, automobile into the hills, believing it contains someone who has learned Zorka's secrets. They still think this boy is dead. Dr. Mallory, former associate of Zorka's, is assisting the authorities in their findings and uh, investigation of Zorka's laboratory. Jean Drew, reporter, is with Bob when he finds a strange disc planted by the invisible Zorka in his deserted car. Yeah, watch this move. I thought he was going to stick a spider on him, but this guy had way more deep plans than that. This is some fucking Hitman level shit. Shout out to fucking IDOS. This guy invents exploding spiders, but he's not above just picking up a stick and whacking it with it. That's why he's such a fucking winner. Keep an open mind. Don't get bonked! Up! Dude, I told you don't get bonked. What did I say? Bye! She'll be fine. Oh, he's fine. So he rolled out. Captain West. There's something over in those bushes. Keep down. Must be the driver of that car. I'm fire. I missed him, whoever it is. <coughs> I didn't even see anything. Let's get to your car. <laughs> oh, that spider's got still got a disc on him, right? That spider, shoot it. Uh. Well, it isn't alive. That's one of Zorka's mechanical devices. But it's poisonous. Wait, what? What are you going to do? Try and catch They're actually not real spiders? Out. Okay, that actually explains some things. Hey, that isn't like a hard-boiled newspaper girl to faint. I'm not hard-boiled, and I didn't faint. I tripped. Oh. Damn, I suppose this dude. So they're robot spiders. That's why they can explode. Who the hell is this guy? Is he getting firewood or some shit? Yo, Grand Theft Auto? Bye! What? 10 out of 10 films here. Look how smug he is. He doesn't know he didn't kill that guy. Don't worry, I will. I have a hunch one of those got to Jim Daly. He's still unconscious. It's gone. Where'd it go? I don't know. I wish I knew where it came from. They didn't explode. That may be Mallory now. They persist after they, after they explode, they still survive. It is Mallory. Two of my men. You all right, Bob? Yeah. Looks like you cracked up. Bailed out just in time. Parker, uh, check that car for ownership. There's enough Bailed out? Go. You lucky son of a bitch. Mr. You Drew fell out of the car through. unconscious. She'll take it back in her That's car, That's different. There's a lot in this case that has to be kept off the record for a while. Like spiders, for instance? Right. Dark has left something behind that's even worse than dynamite. Someone evidently got hold of it. The wrong kind of publicity will hurt it. All right, I'll be careful what I put in the paper. That's swell. I knew it could come. How long till I learn that guy's still alive? Tomorrow. Thanks, I will. What's the matter with your coat? One of Darker's mechanical spiders disappeared under. I don't dare put it on. Spider, how to get out here? I wish you'd tell me. I chased that car from Zarka and the driver got away, but don't ask me how. Shall I look around for him, Captain? No, it's two ladies, probably miles away from here by now. Let's get back to Zarka. There's an extra Mackinac on the car here. Yeah, good vibe. Yeah, I think everybody had hats back in the day. It's 
monk. This is a break. The chief wants it. Let's see if we can bring him too. I'm confused. Listen, monk. Was Zerka dead? You're in a tough spot. I want you to join up with our crowd and tell us what's become of Zerka's formula. This other well, bad guy. You think I know? The other other bad guy. You know plenty. He pays big for that kind of information. What kind of information? Quit get him, Zorka. About. That's so cool. He fades away. I can't even guess. All right, we'll take him along and work him over. Let's fucking go. This is Zorka's working. Oh, sick! Oh, God, don't hit me. This is a guy like this. Army guy. Don't CQC those guys. Pulling out from where I left that fellow handcuffed. Yeah, look at this. They're taking their prisoner with us. Who do you suppose they are? I think we're going to find out. Open fire. And then they're the police. That's what they do. So, who's going to catch these foreign government agents? I have to be Back up again. Run, run, up, rest up. Oh, hold him back once enough. Now, who are you? What were you doing at Zorka's house? Come on, talk up. Well, I got him. Don't be snitching, boy. Don't be snitching, boy. That's the fucking tag. Oh my god. Shall I go get him? No, it's too late. We got one of them anyway. <laughs> you mean they did? No, 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 whatever. Let him go. They fix this one so he won't talk. It sure is good shooting for this kind of light. Are you men all right? Sure thing. Check his prints and measurements, Mac, and check with the FBI. I'll get the equipment out of the car. We got to find out all about this gang, who they are, and what they're doing in this business. Maybe it's the people Zorka intended selling his formula to. That's what I'm afraid of. That's who it is. You know that is the audience. This robot's fucking dope. <laughs> so you were going to sell me out to Rankin and Aspiring, were you? No, I swear I wasn't. Oh, I was just stalling for time. Of course. You wouldn't dare to betray me. The police still want you, Mung. They don't want me. They think I'm dead. Now with the government and the spying both determined to steal my secret, it is necessary to share a very vital secret and knowledge with you. The hiding place of the source of all my power. The source? Yes. Dude, this shit is too godly. Shut the bell to go see you. If they close in, during my absence, you would be able to remove it to a safer place. So, he like a fucking... In there is power enough to seize or destroy the world. And only I, I know how to release and control it. What has he got? Enjoy Coca Cola? Must be kept insulated. And it would be fatal to open it. Unless in the presence of these protective fumes I discovered. Oh my god, I'm so fucking sick. <laughs> Where did it come from? It is part of a meteorite that fell in Africa centuries ago. Oh my God. Years of research led me to the belief that some great force akin to radium lay buried there. I organized a secret expedition 
attended only by ignorant natives. <laughs> wow, that's racist. Hello! It took me three years to find the place the meteorite fell. I suffered untold torture before I found a way to insulate you myself suffer unknown from torture. the magnetic and chemical activity of the element contained in the meteorite. Unbelievable I effects this movie. my hair, my wow. life to get it, and to compound with it and other force of my own discovery that made it the greatest power on earth. Now why shouldn't I use it as I wish, even to conquer the world? So remember, if it is ever necessary for you to move that box, do not open it. It will mean death, disaster. Unless you have the fumes. How cool is it that they recorded that little flashback they're just telling us? That was fun. You will remain here on guard. Shoot the robot, monk. Don't do anything fucking stupid while I'm gone. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Bye! That's so cool. You brought Jim out of his coma yet? I've given him a new antidote. Perkins is watching his reactions. Any change, Perkins? Not yet, Dr. Mallory. Sad music now? Dude, fuck this guy. How long can he live in a state of suspended animation? That's something I'm not prepared to answer. We're dealing with a force that I don't completely understand. That doesn't mean that... Not necessarily, Bob. Any luck tracing that car those two men used Yeah, he last seems night? dead. Well, like, his heart's not beating or anything. Yeah. All identification has been removed. The only reason they don't think he's dead is that they over I think overheard all these stupid animation. Stole this formula before he died, or else it's been stolen by some foreign agent. I hope not. Can you imagine what a terrific weapon of aggression it would be? I certainly can. An enemy can move in without any opposition. The whole country could be wiped out. Wish we could find out how Zorka derived this formula. Say, we might be able to get a clue to the nature of Zorka's element with this neometer, which reacts to radioactivity. Have you tried it on Jim yet? Yes. Any reaction? Only a slight one, but it confirms my belief that the antidote must contain a part of the element itself. <clears throat> That young newspaper woman is here, Doctor. Again? Jean Drew. I told her I was here. Do you mind if she comes in? If you insist. I don't know what I like more so far. This or Dick Tracy. Film serial wise. This one I think I like well, maybe a little bit. Very nicely, without telling too much. Thanks. But the office thinks I'm holding out. They Dude, want her fucking more. suit is ridiculous. Hey, doctor, this needle's jumping all over the place. Just since Miss Drew came in? Yes. Take her over by the door. She still has that stupid disc, doesn't she? Take her out. Close the door. Bring her back. Say, what is this? I don't like wrestling. Bring her closer. Bring her closer. It reacts to her definitely, or to something she's carrying. Empty your handbag. Oh, so it's just a holdup. Hmm, we got... Uh... Zorka's disc, where'd you get it? Dr. Zorka's house, under a withered plant. Oh, yes, I remember. I meant to take it. That's the thing it reacts to. And that's the clue for our antidote. Cool transition. They're gonna revive this dude? Who cares? He's a fucking stupid ass pilot. Pulse is increasing, getting stronger with every beat. Come back to life. We're lucky last night that they only got one of you. Look at more architect, he really is. Unfortunately, the demon are in on this. Well, they are in on it, Chief. We gotta act quick if we expect to beat them to Zarka's secret. Wherever it is. You think Monk's got it? I don't know. Monk got shit. Act strange. Almost as though he's under a hypnotic spell. Hmm. Perhaps he is. Has it ever occurred to you that Zarka might be alive? No, what do you mean? Dr. Zorka has done some remarkable things. It's never seemed quite right to me that he should die in an ordinary accident. Hmm. Find Monk. Bring him to me. Perhaps the sight of money will loosen his tongue. I know some other ways, too. Oh, my God. 
Our leader is expecting us to get control of this great secret. With it, we can conquer the world. Dude, I don't know who to cheer for in this movie. It's kind of funny to me that Alex Zorka is our protagonist, even though he's clearly an like evil mad scientist. The G-Men are really fucking annoying. These bad guys are clearly the bad guys. I don't think I just wanted Zorka to fucking win. You passed out because you had the disc that was planted on Maybe he'll end up teaming up with the government or something in the end. Who'd want to destroy her? I don't know. Who Can would I take I this destroy her? Zorka's laboratory, it might lead to something. If you know what Certainly. I mean. I'll attempt an analysis of what is on that disc. It might lead directly to Zorka's secret. Good luck. Come Go along. Oh, wow, there he goes. It's a little shadow. That's him when he's invisible. It's like uh, well, the fucking camo gear the from Zorka disc. Oh, your solid. It leaves well, a you can kind of almost see it. So that we can crack this case wide open. Yeah, before it cracks us. This guy at one point was Zorka's assistant back now, in the day. I can just get before this he formula became a fucking pansy and joined the FBI. Instead of doing evil science like he should be doing. He's got a shadow even though he's invisible. Okay, I can look at that. <laughs> yeah, shoved. Oh, perhaps it was that. Fumes in the liquid, but it felt as though a man's hands were my throat. <sighs> it was sort of so sick, dude. Ooh, dude. He closed the door behind him, too. Monk, what the fuck is you doing? Oh no, he left his thing there? This guy trusts Monk too much. Oh no. Don't let Monk use the robot? The Nero, the dude, the robots are so clutch. They're too clutch, dude. Too clutch to let the fucking sidekick use the robot. They're gonna have to fight. Do you think Nero more Nero? Hey, why do we always have to get here just as the sun is setting? Those long shadows get on your nerves, eh, Jim? I hope to tell you around this place. Well, let's see what this can find for. Mmm. Watch out for spiders. We have to fight him with the robots and then. It's like a cute bird of Indie Dark, yeah, maybe. Yo, Monk is such a fucking scumbag. They shall turn over to you one million in cash when the proven article has been delivered. Needle almost jumped off the dial here. Must be another death. Don't worry, he not. It was a good time to lurk. This film serial is ridiculous. It's everything you could hope and dream for from a 1930s sci fi film serial. It's got robots and invisibility and fucking. Exploding spiders and antidotes and chemicals and That's explosions. So here. Cars blown up, planes crashing. Literally everything. You've been watching now for not even an hour yet. And it's just popping off. Monk, you fucking idiot. Please get shot again. Now it's stronger. How'd he heal from this? Did he get shot before? How'd he heal so fast? Maybe it's something that, uh,. Dr. Zorka has access to, right? Some kind of healing potion or something. Secret passages. He got shot, V-Stab Doom. He got shot. Look board. This boy already done been shot a few times. Not so strong here. About to get shot again. What happened to the fucking robot? Now it's stronger. Dee -dee -ba -ba -dee -doo -doo. Beep -ba. Oh my! Oh, where's this mug? I thought of my wing last night. He may be one of the spy rays. Whoa. What's the matter? What was that? The helmet got so hot it burned my hand, and when it touched that box, it went up in smoke. He has the fucking box? I didn't even notice. Don't open that. Uh, Don't open it. The Mallory open. I guess you're right. Well, we'll take him to headquarters first. He has Come a source on. of Zork. Zorka's power? Now the fucking government has it? Son of a bitch. I'm gonna try to open this thing. Don't open it. What's the matter, Bob? Can't you make it? No, not yet. Well, maybe it's just as well after what happened to the neometer. Yeah. Look, Zero. I'm late. What's going on? So basically, hey, dude, so much less than Zero. 
don't know what's the matter with this car. Let me cut you stop running. This is film series yeah. called The Phantom Creeps. Oh my god! Everything's happening in this hey, area, dude. It's ridiculous. Holy fucking shit! Close the fucking box! We all get blown to bits. This, but way better than Nick Tracy. This is way better than Nick Tracy. Alright, guys, so listen Zero. This is The Phantom Creeps, a 1939 film serial starring Bill Lugosi as a mad scientist who uh, wants to use this uh, element he discovered to take over the world. <laughs> it's, it's, this is ridiculous. And so he has, he's a mad scientist, he's a brilliant dude. He has, he invented this giant robot, he has an invisibility belt, he has these, um, spider robots that he can sick on people by giving them these discs like he plants them on them and then the spider approaches that disc and if it touches it it explodes into a uh into a like powder that will put people into suspended animation they don't actually die they get suspended and so the plot is basically that he faked his death to get away from the government who wanted his, his secrets and there are foreign government agents as well that want his secrets to take over the U.S. So basically, it's a three-way battle between Dr. Zorka, the mad scientist, the FBI, and the foreign governments, all trying to access this power. Dr. Zorka, mad scientist, is desperately attempting to guard a meteorite fragment from which he derives a powerful destructive force. Dr. Mallory, assisting the authorities, invents a neo a neometer, an instrument that he believes will detect the presence of Zorka's meteorite. Bob West and Jim Daly, armed with this neometer, capture Monk, Zorka's assistant, while trying to escape with the meteorite. While taking Monk to headquarters, Bob attempts to open the heavily insulated case, which contains the dangerous meteorite fragment and... Oh my god. No, this is episode four of Lesson Zero, so we were, we're about an hour in now. It's about four hours long, the whole story. It's about one quarter of the way through. I'm pretty sure Rob Zombie recreated the robots from one of his tours. He did, I read that on Wikipedia. Rob Zombie's robot is based on this hey, Fitbit robot. Well, what's the matter with this yeah, car? The engine stopped. Right? This shit is ridiculous. Plenty of gas. So inside that box is the meteorite from which Zorka derives all of his science from. Hey, and it's so fucking powerful that he was that he warned his dumbest sitting monk that if he ever opened the box, it would basically kill him instantly. Look how they're opening the box in the car to make everything around them fucking explode. That's how powerful this meteorite is. This is a guy like Katie Bar Zagmus is faster. I think Zagmus is that powerful. Whoa. I how we get to alternate endings. <laughs> get the fucking meteorite, monk, you fuck. This is from 39, guys. Thank you for your patience. This uh, serial is not as well preserved as some other stuff we've seen on the channel before. The audio is a bit muffled. Did you get that guy's license number? The footage is a bit sure blurry and grainy. 130,000 volts. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. That's what wrecked us when I pulled that gadget on the box. Oh, it's almost 100 years old. I better see if the box is still there. Man, I'm going after that guy we picked up in Zorka's lab. And this is no time for a manhunt. It's more important we get that mystery box to the federal lab for an analysis. Blow up the whole city? I guess you're right. We'll take it to Dr. Mallory's house. We'll be safer there. Fucking Monk. So Monk is Zorka's sidekick, basically. Zorka yeah, broke him out of jail father. to be a the sidekick. Still here. That's all we know about their relationship. And this Monk guy is an idiot. Ooh. Check out that fucker, though. Got his ass. his ass too metal gear fucking solid unbelievable a close box you fuck this guy's always getting shot he's already got shot like four times <laughs> so far in the film circle god damn it monk this dude's always getting shot
guy get away? He's one of the spy rings. The police will catch him. He can't get far with that bullet. They always let him escape. I love it. They're always like, yeah, fuck it. We got more important things on our hands. Then what's going on here? You pull a thunder, electrocute yourself? Who's driving that car? Take it easy. Okay, Captain West. We have to get to Dr. Mallory's right away. Special business. I'll give you a lift. All right, thanks. Well, okay, close about fucking lights. That crew, he's already got shot like four times. I'm gonna be generous and presume that maybe Dr. Zorka's lab has some kind of healing potion or something. Because they never bother explaining how he just gets shot, it's no big deal. So, what happened to the rope control for this thing? Oh, he's gonna find his fucking meteorite's gone. He has to kill his own fucking dumbass assistant next to him. We're finally monkey ah. kids. Guys, let me just say this right now. This serial is fucking sick, and I can't believe they got Bell Lugosi to be the star. It's so much fun to have him. It's such a really, he's just fun to watch on the screen. Uh, for rare Wikipedia, this ah. was at the very end of his career, uh, apparently he had problems with dependency, Monkey and he was gone. taking any job that was offered to him, basically. But guys put in a good performance. Yeah, but we gotta see Monkey kill Brian, for sure. I want Zorka to do it, too. Maybe the robot. I still have you. You will be the instrument of my vengeance. Yes. <laughs> Monk, you dumb piece of shit. You got a lot of fucking nerve coming back here. So you decided to come back, did you? The federal men broke in. They carried me off. They stole the meteor. You're lying. I left you on guard and you betrayed me. You've sold the source of my power to my enemies. No, I swear it. And why did you remove that box from the secret vault? I heard voices. I thought strangers were coming to steal it. I shall show you what happens to those who cross me. It's not a pretty good story. I would give him that much. So fuck up this dude, Iron Man. Oh, don't let him get me. Oh, oh. Oh, my God. I moved it. I'm shot. Ooh, I swear, I grab hands. hands. Who has grab hands in the chat? You scared him pissless. I think a good vibe. All right. I'm going to remove that bullet. Then you can tell me what happened. He Come. does remove the bullets. He's a doctor as well as a mad scientist. So that's why he was able to get shot last time and didn't think to hurt him that bad. <laughs> Dude, honestly, this film series is ridiculous. It's the best. Put up your sleeve. It's the best. I can't imagine him watching a better film series than this. He's, he's a survivor for now, but for now. Heals him. That's the sickest fucking shit. Heal. Take your arm out. You felt nothing. Not a thing. Painless surgery. This and a thousand greater powers are possible with the secret element. And now the source of it is gone. But they shall not keep it. We gotta get it back, guys. No government shall possess my power. I know where Bob Best has taken my meteor. But I can't go with you. They know me now. If I'm taken, they'll throw me back into Alcatraz. You can make yourself invisible. The Phantom will continue to protect you. This film series is overpowered as fuck. Guys, who in the chat is as hype as I am officer. to get this fucking meteorite back? Get it back! Newspaper nemesis. What's in the box? Lunch for Dr. Mallory. Maybe he'll swallow that, but not me. Listen, my editor's putting the pressure on me for a story. Is that one of the late Dr. Zorka's gadgets? Look, Miss Drew, the safety of this country depends on the contents of this box. There are spies in the city paid Don't to see Zorka's that. secret. Yeah, yeah I think I'm going to take a break out. after this episode. Good vibe. The G-Man just carried a box into Mallory's house. Okay, I'll call the chief and tell him he's at the airport. You get back and watch the house. Another four. I'm gonna take, we're going to do four, four, and four, guys. That's my plan for tonight. Why don't you stop telling yours for sensational like headlines? Feature. Will we tell you differently? Well, all right. 
On condition that I get the scoop when you're ready. Hello, Dr. Miller. Hello, Bob. Good. You found something. Something. It's dynamite. Come in. He's going to blow all the kingdom come, dude. This is in VSAP. She's a reporter. It's oh, her job. If you don't mind, Miss Drew, I would prefer that only Captain West and Lieutenant Daly come into the laboratory. Well, Miss Drew has made her peace with the government. Well, just to save, I'm afraid I'll have to exclude the press from this interview. Go on, young lady. Take a walk. Okay. Jeez, old peas. Two sets of prints on this box other than ours. Okay, if you're the circus alive, alive while I was alive, and the uh, others must have belonged to the fellow who got away. Jim, take these uh, down, will you? She's still straight spying, dude. X dash two. Who is this chick? Dash three. It's her function three. in the story. This is the she source of the Dorcas element. I'm certain of it. The neometer is reacting exactly as it did to the disc we found on Miss Drew. Here we go. We're rolling up. He has the belt. Wake your monk. So he's the phantom that creeps. Because he has the invisibility belt, I guess. Makes him the phantom. There he goes, dude. There our boy goes. I'd be able to extract Zorka's elements from this material if I had time enough and the right equipment. You got no time. Madam Curry, Get the meteorite back. Radium. Equipment Taking it. Oh, here comes. I'll tell you what, Mallory. I'll take you to Zorka's myself. Personal escort, sir. Hey, mind the door just fucking okay. open on its own? Well, either this place is haunted or I am. All right, Jim. You take Dr. Mallory what do you do? to Zorka's. I'll follow along. What do you do? To the office. He planned something. He called from outside. His wires have been tapped. Come on, Doc. Back to the laboratory. Get back to the lab again. Back to the lab again. He's in and out, he said. He's in. I don't understand what he did. He might have said there, but I was talking over it. They plant a magnetic disc on somebody? Maybe a tracker? Well, Aileen, the federal boy just left from Zorka's house. They've got the box with them. Okay, we'll head for our airport. The chief has a plane ready for our getaway. Uh oh. This is a foreign agents. Three way conflict. Long distance? This is Captain West, DMI, calling the War Department in Washington, D.C. Reverse the charges. Very urgent. I don't feel any too comfortable with that thing so close. Nothing can happen as long as the meteorite is not exposed. Don't expose it. He realized they were headed back to the town, so he figured he'd just meet them there with the robot. Oh, I got you, Brian. That car is still trailing us. Get off the road and out of sight when we round that curve ahead. Yeah, this is only episode four of a 12 episode serial. We're gonna get the meteorite back, right? I want to see him fucking nab that shit. Make an escape. He's gonna be the robot invisible. That'd be sad. That'd be sick. The problem is, how would you control it? All clear. Yeah. They're trying to control fucking Wait, 12. Somebody in the back. Third strike. All right, come on, buddy, climb up. Oh, please, no, please. Oh, you're a lot of help. Just a hitchhiker, doctor. Can I go along with you? See a good scout. Go on, bait it. She's looking at the fucking car, too. Well, she's that definitely dedicated. Back. Here come the bad guys. Whoever's in that car knows we've got the meteorite. All right, get in. Stay down. Getting fast hearted, huh? Look at the wise crack, and there's trouble coming. Is she gonna grab it? Yo, shit! Careful now, we don't want gunfire while we're carrying that box. Keep your hands where they are. Push the guy at the wheel. Look at the mustaches. I just shoot these guys, I do. Who's in the box? All right, come on, get out, you. I'd be like, what the fuck is going on in this car? That beautiful lady's hiding in the back. Be careful, if you drop that, we'll be blown to bits. Don't take the lid off while I'm around, either. Put that in our car. Handle it carefully. 
Alright, start driving. Why do they don't sound like they're wearing behind you, so don't get funny. I can't. I've lost the keys. All right, wise guy. Pile out, all of you. We'll take you in our car. Seriously, why do they sound like that? Come on, get moving. Yeah, they wear masks because the mustache is fake. <laughs> I don't get it. Is that just the way it sounds? Fucking monk. Robot spider. It's so fucking cool. It's so fucking cool. <laughs> but a dope special effect. You must put them on a string, right? Jack all these in my element and plan them along the doorstep. But the discs. When our friends Captain Vest and Dr. Mallory walk in, no disc will be necessary. The meteorite they are carrying contains enough magnetism to attract thousands of spiders. But they're not coming. They should be here soon. Those fuckers got their meteorites nabbed. Something has gone wrong. They should be here by now. Would you care if they had an accident? Idiot. With those fools handling it, the meteorite is liable to explode and I shall lose it. I shall wait no longer. What are we gonna do? What's the plan, this man? The amateur will lead me to my meteorite. Come. Come, my lady. Come, come, my lady. Oh, there's a room back there, too. I guess there it is. So here's the, the bad guy's place. What do they call this? The international languages, something or other? I'm so confused. Do we got bad guys on bad guys on bad guys? Is somebody else stealing the media right now? They get ambushed or what? Jeff! Alright! I don't think I got it. Which one of you is Dr. Mallory? I am. I see. Okay. I'm sending you on a tour journey. We need scientists of your caliber to handle Zorka's discovery. Party on, dude. the motor. Why, you can't take off now with that fog rolling in. Fog or no fog, we're leaving. Put that box in the plane. It wouldn't be a 30s film series without a gratuitous plane for come now. If we get out of this, we'll have to do it ourselves. Careful. That stuff's worse than dynamite. Worse than dynamite. Watch me and get ready to run. You didn't even open the box a little bit. Are you fucking maniac. Don't realize that you might have blown us a bit. But this thing's a fake. What? You blackheads. I sent you to get the source of Zorka's element. Where'd you get this? The girl gave it to us. Extremely clever, young lady. I'm so confused. But we're after the source of Zorka's element, and we intend to get it. Where's the original box? I'd like to know the answer to that one myself. All right, Smith. Go to the back road and make a thorough search of that car. Take Mallory with you. But how did she find the box? You open the door. Did she take it out of the box? And if so, how'd she survive? Maybe she just had a box, huh? Right, she just had a box. Okay, it makes sense. Yeah, it's nowhere near as nice and nice as this box. Plot thickens. Close, monk. We are getting close. He has the neometer? <laughs> you can find out that thing? <laughs> Probably has his own one, right? His own neometer. Get in that plane and keep quiet. Gratuitous plane flying. Looks like I have to save him, huh? Okay. Get away, oh, Jim. Look out, Bob! Here we go. Fuck him up. 
Jesus. It's like they're tracing dodging bullets. This has been The Phantom Creeps. We have watched four episodes just now. I'm going to take a very short break. Oh, that was four, guys. We have uh, 12 episodes total. We're going to do like a triple feature tonight. Watch four and four, then four. So far, initial thoughts. So I'm saying, Karina. Initial thoughts. This has been a super sick film serial. Uh, I would put it way above Dick Tracy. Me and Katie really enjoyed Dick Tracy recently. Uh, that was also about 12 episodes. I don't know, 15 episodes. That was real cool and everything, but didn't have robots. It didn't have explosions like this. It didn't have fucking laser beams and fucking invisibility belts and fucking all kinds of and exploding spiders and shit. This is ridiculous. I'm in love with it. I can't wait to watch more of it. I'm going for sure back and wash my hands, wash my face, put some, uh, get my water refilled and watch a little bit more of The Phantom Creeps. I'll be right back. Wow. Oh, my God. Fucking ridiculous. I think while I'm gone, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can't play the previous episode. Is this it? I don't want to watch the next episode. On that. I'm going to fast forward a little bit. I'm sure this is where I want to be. Okay. Just so we have some noise while I'm gone, guys. Somebody comes by and asks, Wait, I can't see anything. I can't see the movie. It's just for some noise while I'm gone. I'll be right back once I get my hands washed. Here's the harsh jump in the game. The super jump, now caught on camp. This jump is the super jump. Oh, it's not gonna be enough. Oh, it is enough, oh my god. That jump sucks. You did. Okay, I thought you could jump over that. I guess you have to wait there. Going on here. You throw a thunder electrocute yourself. Who's driving that car? Take it easy. Okay, Captain Wayne. You have to get to Dr. Mallory's right away. Special business. I'll give you a lift. All right. Thanks. Tell me, Gator. Tell you all about it on the way. Sorry, Papa. Mary, man. The power is a star, so it's a start to the customer. No sé qué más decir ahí. Mom! 
Monk. The video. Monk is gone. Okay, he still lives. That's impossible. Still yes, have you. Oh my god, guys. We're in trouble, Bob. You will be look at these fucking look at this shot! Look at this shot! Fucking terminators, dude. So you decided to come back, did you? The federal man broke in. They carried me off. They stole the meteor. You're lying. I left you on guard and you betrayed me. You have sold the source of my power to my enemies. No, I swear it. And why did you remove that box from the secret vault? I heard voices. I thought strangers were coming to steal it. I shall show you what happens to those who cross me. Crazier, plus, plus, crazier, plus. Do it for the game gallery, son. Pennsylvania. Oh, all right. Oh no, guys, to come back. The water refilled. Drops. You know, I think oh, I want to coach. Wow. That was unbelievable. Who's clipping right now? Anybody clipping right now? That was so far away, but ESTP goes so far with Oro. Put up your sleeve. Put your arms with a few in front of the rays. 